Uh, welcome to a quick tutorial. This is uh, TechBot 360EX 2015 R1 and today I want to introduce a new capability using if statements for data alter. Uh, for the example I chose a relatively modest size. This is a 2D wind turbine. We're looking at one time step um, but I think it would apply to effectively any type of data you might process in TechBot. For those of you who haven't used our data alter capabilities, one can access them through the data menu via data alter specify equation. And it's always convenient to have the data set info information available as you're doing this analysis. So a couple of things we're going to do quickly. We will go ahead and turn on a contour of the X velocity, just for context. Um, and that just you can see here if you want to change the uh, contour, you can do that as well um, by going in here. You can set it to anything in the first eight variables, or you can go into the dialog itself, and we'll set this to turbulent viscosity. And uh, once we have that variable as a contour variable or contour group, we can turn that on as well. Let's go ahead and do a quick probe and we're going to look at what those values are so you can see that uh, the values are actually quite low so we're looking at values of uh, 0.0058 so effectively uh, these values are zero or pretty close to zero as you might expect and so um, if we go out here that value is actually about 0.009 um, and maybe we want to uh, kind of make that a cutoff. So we're going to use an if statement. And first we'll create a new variable. To create a variable, use the curly brackets and type in a name. And so uh, let's call this mod TV for modified turbulent viscosity. And we're going to set that equal to, so you could do something very simple. You, you for those of you who haven't used this before, you could do just a cosine of V12, for example, if you wanted to apply a simple mathematical operator. And if I compute that, you'll see uh, down here that this is what the value is for the new variable. Data set info, you'll, if we go down to the bottom, you can see what the modded uh, turbulent viscosity is, but that, that's not particularly interesting. You can get pretty sophisticated with the mathematical operators that you use, including uh, derivatives, second derivatives, etc. Uh, for this example, we'll use a if test, and we will set that if test, and the if test uh, syntax is quite similar to, say, using Microsoft Excel. For example, uh, V12, which represents uh, turbulent viscosity, um, we can set that, say, okay, well, let's say that we these lower values aren't particularly interesting to us, so we're going to say uh, for V12 that is less than or equal to a value of 0 0.0099. If that's true, then we're going to set it uh, to a value of 0. And if it's false, we'll set it to uh, V12. So basically, we want to carry over those values. Okay, and we'll hit Compute. And you can see there's the value now for mod uh, turbulent viscosity. Um, and you can see what the values range now go from 0 to 0.14. And <clears throat> if we go back to V12, you see originally uh, we got rid of these lower values. I can show that in a contour by uh, contouring on this, and uh, let's add a contour group here, modify the variable for that contour group of modded. Okay. And if I right click on this one here, I can now set that to the modded value. Now, again, there isn't going to be anything uh, overly dramatic outside of the fact that if I, you can see that outside those values now, it's exclusively zero. That can be very convenient because if you go into contouring you can say I want to do a color cutoff and uh, you can say cutoff uh, values that are uh, below a value of you know, 
0 0.008, for example. And if you do that, you'll see, uh, I'll have to redraw here, that the values are all, the color is cut off. In essence, you can kind of isolate contour variables. So in addition uh, to doing kind of simple operators within if, you can also use if, and, and or statements. So let, let's do an or statement. So we'll say this is mod2 TV. And so it's a new variable. We're going to calculate that based on an if statement. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, do something similar, just uh, for context. So we'll say v12. Um, and, you know, another thing that you can do is you can just copy. If you don't want to use the variable number, you can, in fact, use the variable name using the curly brackets around them. So you can say if turbulent viscosity uh, is, uh, let's see, equal to, and what did we say, zero, or, and, uh, well, let's make it uh, slightly more interesting. Okay. So if it's uh, equal to, or an equal just for uh, the, the way the syntax is actually more programmatic, so it's two equal signs, or, which is two vertical bars, and uh, we can say or uh, v2 or x or y, I guess let's use y, is uh, greater than 1.5, then what do we want to do? So let's set, um, let's set, the value here equal to 1, which would be off scale if it's true. And uh, if it's false, let's set that value uh, back to v12. I, I use v12 only because it's faster. Okay. Uh, this equation is going to run. We don't really need it, so if I want to, I can delete it, but it doesn't matter. It's pretty small. Okay. So now it's, that's been computed. You can see we have mod 2, and it goes uh, from 1 to 6 point, or point 0.6 to the minus 9. Okay, so, um, and that again goes back to the OR statement. Uh, so we, we didn't clip off all of the lower values like we did with the first equation. So if I probe, uh, I should probe here, for example, you see that should be equal to 1 because it's greater than 1.5 and Y. And if I go to the contour variables here very quickly, we will select mod 2 and close that you can see now that um, mod 2 values are shown here. Now, uh, we probably would want to remove the color cutoff then for this one, so it's not cut off anything. And you can see the actual values. So, hopefully that gives you some ideas of the new capability. So, just to uh, quickly explain, we have equals, not equal, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, and logical tests such as end, which is two end, and parens, or two vertical bars for or. Thanks for watching a quick tutorial. Good luck with data alter, and let us know if you have any questions.